Welcome back guys to the Vaudevillian veteran cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. Just had to get that off my chest. First and foremost, I want to emphasize that the highest form of appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. And as a result, the Hacking Time team has become even better. Fuck yeah. So buckle up, turn up those speakers and let's go. go, go, go. As you're aware from my previous video, I reviewed the go-to firmwares that are currently most popular in the Flipper community, and that would be the Unleashed and the Rogue Master firmwares. There's been significant changes on both since that previous video was made. So let's take a quick recap now of how things have been progressing with the two dominant firmwares. First, we have Dark Flippers, and they have change developer it seems we still have x master x and now we have someone new on the scene from ukraine savage dan or savage dan now if we go into the firmware itself and we can see the latest release is 022 and it's progressed quite nicely actually the development and the community team have worked tirelessly really over the past month since i've been seeing it happen and unfold and hats off to them they're doing some great work next we have rogue master with the dbz influence still going strong and now we have w plugins as the main repo and let's see what changes we have so rogue master is now on patreon and can be supported and uh, so let's see what's actually on patreon for rogue master all right, so now there is a paid subscription for Rogue Master, and let's see what's on offer for these subscription fees. So we have nine fifty a month and twenty eight pound fifty a month. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so for twenty eight fifty a month, you shall get a custom animation and one arcade no limits game for Overwatch and. You get releases and different animation stocks. You will get custom hand holding where needed to get Rogue Master installed. And QA and basically you get to be part of the Rogue Master community, which is pretty cool. And also you can contact them on the discord it seems if you want to rename your flipper and they say they can do custom names on the flipper itself interesting so they veered off two different approaches now so it's a, a true fork of each other one has gone for a sort of paywalled approach and the other one is still very much community driven it seems so time will tell how this pans out and good luck to both of them, of course. And there's also some new additions to the community. So let's dive right in. So if we bring up our Q flipper, the first thing we want to do is to navigate to the spanner and we'll take a backup at the minute because I don't want to lose anything I've already created. All right, now that's done, we have our backup completed. We can now update to the official firmware. And this is quite important just to get you to a more recent and stable version of the official firmware before we clamp on top of that the new version of the custom firmware we want to use so we'll update that and the latest release when recording was 0 0.74.2 so let's update that all right now we're on the latest version of the flipper firmware important thing to note is that once you update using the official firmware updater it will override any customized firmware you've put in previously hence why we took the backup now that's done we can get down to business now within the hacking time team there has been murmurs in the wind should i say of a new kid on the block that has released a new version of a firmware and I think it's right that we review that, give it its fair dues and chance, 
and see how it goes. So, the firmware in question is developed by Clara Crazy, who's CEO and lead developer at Scienti Labs. This is on privacy, security, and pen testing related stuff. I'll leave a link to the GitHub below in the description. But she has a repo and it's called Flipper Extreme. So as we can see here, Flipper Extreme is a fork from the Rogue Master. And as previously mentioned, we reviewed both Rogue Master and Unleashed in my previous video. About the firmware, the developers mentioned that it's the most advanced Flipper firmware with custom animations, some interesting twists to the boring level system, clean, stable integrations of new applications and a whole lot more. Now then, this firmware is a complete overhaul of the Rogue Master with changes to all graphics, disgusting code and more. Also some fighting words here. <laughs> I like this kind of stuff in the community. Extreme brings you the most for your little flipper companion. All right, so let's see what the most actually is. So what makes this different from the others? So this firmware is based on Rogue Master. I know you should have forked Unleashed. It combines bleeding edge PRS of Rogue Master with actual understanding of what's going on, fixing bugs that are regularly talked about, removing unstable, broken applications or fat files, and actually using level system that just sits abandoned in Rogue Master. All right, so it's an overhaul and a subjective take of what's been going on under the hood for Rogue Master. So the focus of the firmware is functionality and stability, which I find quite core, especially when running applications. I did find myself as well, finding loads of applications that may or may not have worked. But again, it's open source, it's community based and it's ongoing. So can't be too critical about what's going on there. Given the level system a purpose right now, each level unlocks a new wallpaper. So that, that's pretty cool, actually. So. If we saw within Rogue Master, we had the stoned flipper. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like here, but the leveling system looks like it's delivering some new animations or wallpapers. It has a clean upgrade to the code. Rogue Master wrote some updates to certain files. These are painful to say the least. Here are all the rewritten cleaned up. Um, I invite you all to compare them. All right, so there's even a challenge thrown here. And it also boasts up to date. So this firmware receives updates from a few repositories, not just from upstream. If there are functional but yet unmerged pull requests on another flipper firmware that are good, they'll be added here, which is fantastic. So it's pulling loads of different work and branches into this one and it's reviewed, it looks like. So fantastic work by Claire. Animations, I'm a huge fan of anime and animations in general on the Flipper Zero. I have the Naruto skin ones myself. Let's see what's happening here. So the firmware contains the NSFW animations. No, actually it consists purely of those in the stock configuration. So these animations are tied to the leveling system. Each level you reach unlocks a brand new animation. The higher your level, of course, the more Luid it will become and rumor has it she is to be found in one of them so it looks like animations go from level one all the way to 30 with some interesting animation descriptions next we have the list of changes so this is really what i wanted to look at note that she says this repo is always updated with ofw unleashed and rogue so it's compiling from all angles here there's no need to mention all of these here so here are the ones that she's done herself so additions we have sfw mode we have jamming files some custom sub presets uh we have the honda keys some new animations some new api routes for local settings scrolling view for long file names within the browser and we have a tamagotchi rom interesting in terms of updates, all the graphics have been updates. We have applications now use new local settings. Compiler now handles all non-compiled FAPs during build. That is sick. 
Compiler now accepts WIP SDK. There's a weather app in here. I'm not sure how the updates for this app will happen, but I'll be interested to see that. Applications now use below mentioned API routes and there's some fixing to the leveling system and the mood system. I mentioned this about the only being stoned mood. Uh, although I have some friends that are always in that sort of mood. <laughs> Removed, so unused dummy mode. Uh, yeah, I didn't really make much use of that uh, within RM. Broken apps, bad Apple, the chess game, etc. Unused code from FAPS and system calls. Some known current bugs. We have the Wii EC crash due to a null pointer, maybe a memory issue there. And sub gigahertz brute map is currently not working. So let's install this bad boy and see what's going on. So if we head over to the release tab and we grab the latest release. Right, now we've got the latest release as a zip file. That zip file has been extracted. We shall go into our SD. We shall go into update and we shall drop XFW within this directory. Upload. Let that do its magic. Right, now that's done, we can navigate into the flipper itself. We hit the down arrow, hit the backspace. We can go into the update directory. We can find the new folder that we copied in. Within that, we go into the new folder itself. Then there should be an update. Hit that, run the update in three, two, one, boom, install. Now, once we've moved over to Extreme, an important thing to do is to update the settings under the sub gigahertz section if you haven't done that previously before, as that would have defaulted to the firmware defaults, which again, make it very restricted in terms of what you can scan in the gigahertz frequency ranges. So if we go to the SD card and then we go to sub gigahertz and then within assets, there's three specific files we need to change here. So I've got them here. The first one we need to do is the extend ranges. We want the ignore default text region. We want to set that to true. Next, we have the setting frequency analyzer for the user. So this specifies the frequencies that can be analyzed. I'm going to set it to the one I have here. And then also the settings for the user. And I've customized this as well with the help of Uber Z. So let's drag these three over. So the one here, I will delete that and then replace it with the one I have. Same for the settings user, I'll delete that. and replace it for the one I have. And lastly, the setting frequency user, delete that and replace it for the one I have. So let's get back to business. All right, we have updated to extreme and bam. So now we have Someone special to greet us, should I say? This uh, fine end of 2022 coming up. And we have, not sure what this animation is right now. It's like um, the Rorschach test, as it were. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here. So we have application, GPIO, Definitely want my Marauder still there, just making sure what's still here and what isn't. Uh, there's a flashlight, that's new. Temperature. There's a mouse jacker. All oh, right, there's loads of different apps. Wi-Fi scanner, just the general one. Attach Wi-Fi scanner module. Next, what do we have? Some sub gigahertz. Is that changed in any way? Yes, the animation has changed at least. Nice. How's the read raw look? All right. Frequency analyzer. No Pikachu anymore. God damn. All right. 
have a universal remote map. All right, and this is connecting to the map I previously had. Okay, does it still remember my save one? Yes, it has the RFID to my flat still saved. Good stuff. NFC, let's see the extra actions. Has any been removed or added? We have read specific card type. Nice. Remember, there's an EMV card for those questions that I've been getting about how to read EMV cards or your sort of bank card. Remember, you can't actually make transactions using these cards. It can only read the card data. Uh, we have NFC A data as well. Interesting. All right. And we can add manually as normal. We have infrared. So it's universal remotes, TV remotes, fans. Does it have the list of TV remotes I have still? Learn a new remote. GPIO. Yep. My bad USB. Can't do that yet. You have to do it before you plug it in. All right. So if we go back, all right. So if we go to, oh, it's got a clock here. If we go to applications, music, music beeper, music player, back to the future. Jeez, damn right. We've got an ocarina as well. Get my Zelda on. Can't do the song of the storms on this one, unfortunately. <laughs> That'd be sick. All right. There's more more stuff here than before under the music player, which is interesting. So what games have remained here for those lonely train journeys to work. Got Blackjack. Doom is still here. Flappy Bird. Minesweeper. Snake. Solitaire. Tamagotchi game. Oh, damn. Oh, that is sick. She saved me on this now. I'm done. I'm done. I'm off-road master now. She dropped a Tammy Gotchi game on me. I'm done. I'm done. All right. So that was the Aces introduction review for Extreme. I will be reaching out to Clara Crazy. And if you do manage to review and watch this video, please leave a comment below. And we'll try to get you added to the Hacking Time Discord so we can further dive into more discussion about what you did here. Amazing work that you've done. And get more of the community backing behind your great work. If you are interested in this field and having these type of gadgets in your arsenal, like I do, be sure to head over to Lab 401, where you can use our Hacking Times OG's name as the discount code to get some sweet deals off your purchases. Remember to leave positive comments below, and if you can, join the Hacking Time Discord and stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out.